what's going on guys today i'm going to show you how to set up a positional mask what is a positional mask it just masks out your asset by the position of it in my case i usually use it to color the asset i usually make it lighter as it comes to the towards the top and darker as it comes towards the bottom i usually do this per material if we look at example here look at looking at our wood if i turn off the top position we get that and then our bottom and we get that so with them off, it's quite flat and it doesn't feel like it's positioned in the world as well, at least in my opinion. Now, if we turn them on, you can see the difference. Now, this doesn't work for every single asset and I'll explain why in a bit when we go in the engine. So how do you set this up? First of all, let's delete what we have. I actually have this also on the uh, metal parts. If we turn them off, you can see they are much more subtle but I usually do it per material because I like to change the color as well. And if I change the color of the metal, it won't look quite right because it's already gray. So add a mask or should it's not a mask, sorry, add a fill layer, right click, black mask it, right click the black mask, add a generator, click generators, click position. It automatically gives us a pretty good position where it's covering the top more. Click your actual material, disable everything but color because we don't want it to change. Like we don't want it to get shiny as it gets to the top. Maybe you do. And maybe you want this positional mask to, you know, have it so it gets damp towards the bottom because water's hitting it. If you want to do something like that, you know, you could turn roughness on. I don't want that to turn off. I just want it to get lighter at the top. Now, come back into your mask, click position. As you can see, Changing the global balance will allow us to change the position. You can invert it and have it come from the bottom. And you can contrast it. Now, I wouldn't recommend using the blur because it always sort of messes up. So I just work with the contrast when I want to blur it. So less contrast, more blur. More contrast, less blur. So we want it to come from the top, so maybe about there. Maybe a little bit less, so we'll sharpen it and pull it a tad up. So that way it comes to about here. Now, set it to an overlay. Click in the material, set it to what color you want it to be. Now, because this is brown, I like to set it slightly above its hue. So if I use a color picker, I can pick the original color. Set it to about here. We only want it to slightly add color and slightly put it up to give it a little bit of a yellow tint. In this case, we want a yellow tint because like I said, I just make it so it's slightly higher than its original hue. If we turn it off and on, you'll see that apply. Now you can either make a new fill layer or duplicate our existing one. If you create a new fill layer, just repeat the process. Come into your position. We want to invert it now and have it come from the bottom. We want to set our, uh, our overlay to a multiply. And we want to set the color to be sort of the opposite to what we just did. So our original color was, if we select it again, was here. Sort of, I'll pull it up here for now. And we'll start pulling it down to the uh, sort of level I want. Maybe there. And I'll usually drag it a little bit down just to, again, adjust that hue. And it makes it pop a little bit more. All right. Come into your mask good position and you can do this sort of in any order but adjust I'm going to adjust my position now so I'm going to have it come up to about there and then I'm going to come into its visibility turn it down a little bit I tend to have this quite subtle in most cases and I tend to have overlay on top of our uh, multiply and yeah so at max we obviously have like white over the top, which is maybe what you want. But I tend to have it a little more subtle. Now, if we go over to UE4, I've used this for a bunch of assets. So if we look at the bed, we've got it coming along here. If we look at smaller assets, you know, this sort of gets stuck at the bottom as it comes up. But I want to show you where this can't be used. So I use the same uh, thing for our barrel. And the barrel looks fine. Sort of when it's placed there. I can rotate it this way. And it looks fine. But if I wanted to put it on its side, 
we now have the issue of it getting darker on one side, which doesn't really make sense. And if we were to even turn it upside down, it makes even less sense. It's lighter as it hits the bottom of the floor and darker at the bottom. So for us, it's like this, where you want to rotate them and place them in different sort of like positions. It doesn't really work. My personal workaround for this was what I did for these little crates. What I did for these was I basically made it so the edges get darker. And I just painted that on manually and blurred it. And then as it gets to the center of the asset, I made it lighter. So I just a little bit of paint here, a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, and then a little bit in the middle here. That way I can position it no matter however I want. It still gets a slight effect where it's getting darker in certain areas. But it's not as bad as sort of the barrel. But in most other cases where it's an object, like a door, darker at the bottom, lighter at the top, it looks quite nice. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next video.